Hi, welcome to my channel Coding with Ikanshi. Today we will discuss basis of Python language. In this module, we will learn and understand how to download Python and how to do coding in it. We'll discuss more about Python in my upcoming series of video. You will type first you have to open Google Chrome and then type python so see this will come on your screen i meant interface and then go on the downloads option download for windows so you will press this option i have al already downloaded it so i will download it once more for you okay now wait okay Now it have opened here. Close. So now it, it is installing and I have downloaded it already. So I will show you like when your Python app will be downloaded, you will uh, go down here like this. like your pi for example a python app is downloaded like mine so you will tap here and here will come few options like uh, idle python and python 3.9 module docs and it here will come python 3.9 and python 3.9 manuals so you'll go on python idle here it's loading yeah so now i'm going to tell you some really cool things like not cool but basic it's very basic of python so i will first give it a command as print it is necessary to write print because it's a command now like bracket cost bracket and then i'll put double colon and now i will tell you by an example i will for example write welcome to coding with ikanshi yeah so now i am going to close this bracket and i'll enter this see welcome to coding with ikanshi so the print was our command to the computer and our sentence was this Wait. yeah this python uh, sorry welcome to coding with ikanshi so this is the first rule and the second rule is print yeah the second rule is the words and sentences are known as string bracket close yeah so like the words and sentences here are known as string so now i'll tell you what i actually mean so see this this is a sentence or a word like for example of a word is print print ikanshi so it's my name and now i will i want to print it so this so this is a string because it's a word and this is a string because it's a sentence or it's a rule in python that the words and sentences here are known as string and now for example now you might be wondering why am i writing print in small letters if i write print uh, like something in capital letters so what would happen won't it work 
so you are right it won't work because because like there would be a typo error see i'll show you i'll just write apple likes banana okay i'll close the bracket and now i'll enter see trace back most recent uh, call last and all this will come because i have written the p in capital and this shouldn't be done so your code will be wrong that's why i have written and show you that what will happen so now for example now i wish to multiply or divide a letter i mean a number from another number a constant from a constant so like we can divide it also something like this see our answer comes 0.5 and now few kids wonder that why haven't we put the same the colon which we have put earlier over here why haven't we put over here in the numerical values and that same question arises to me but then i solved it out and i got it that it shouldn't be added here because the new because it is only added in the places where where there is constant i mean where there is words and sentences like string you know and now i would show you an example of difference like print and print four four wait what sorry there was an error i'll do it again don't worry print print now i will add both the words 9 plus 8 now i will put them and so see what happened is when i put this colon so the python writer like the one who made who is doing this all work thought that it's not a numerical value he thought it's a word a string which we have given to it that's why nothing came but now if i do like print cos cos 9 plus 8 plus 8 see so now my answer comes correct like 18 but now like for example sorry now i wish to like you know there are few word problems and i wish to write the sum of 13 and 14 is 70 wait sorry print the sum of 13 and 1 is 30 308 See, don't you think it's wrong? Of course, it's wrong. The answer should be fourteen. But I have done it wrong intentionally because I want. I don't. For example, I don't know that what is the addition of thirteen plus fourteen, thirteen plus one. Sorry. So for this, uh, instead of using my brain and doing it manually, I I can just. command the computer to do it for me 
so I will just write print and now I will write the sum of 13 and 1 is and now I'm going to put the columns back I'm going to put a comma and now I'm going to write 13 plus 1 bracket close enter so see now my answer is correct isn't it so this is another way another basic method of Python and now for example I want to write the sum of now I want to add another sentence in it like I have written the sum of 13 and 1 is 14 and I want to write the sum of 13 and 1 is 14 and the difference of both of them is 12 so now I will but I still don't know that what is the difference of 13 and 1 so I want the computer to do it for me now I'll show you that how to add both of these sentences together like something like this I'll do and now double now I'll do the sum of 13 and 1 is as said earlier I will put this then comma and then I'll do 13 plus 1 then one more comma then I'll put quotations and then I'll write and sorry and the difference of both of them is now I'm going to put a comma sorry I'm going to put the double quotation then I'm going to put a comma and then I'm going to write 13 minus 1 bracket close and the sum of 13 and 1 is 14 and the difference of both of them is 12 okay now I would like you guys to do it so and if there's any problem comment me in the comment section down below and tell your problems and I will surely reply to you now I will give you one more example like this subscribe So see, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. And like this video. Thank you so much.